All right, guys. Um, today we'll be looking at functions in Python. Generally, function uh, a way for you to encapsulate your code or modularize your code to make it more efficient and make your life. It generally makes your life easier. But before we dive into what functions are in Python, I think it will be better or it will be easier to understand functions if we use a real life analogy. Especially real life you might have come across a situation where you hear someone saying what's the function of this what's the function of that or why do we do this and, you know basically accent a function of something so the idea is still the same in python programming so for example when someone asks the question um what's the what's the function of a spoon for example let's just say what's the function of a spoon uh, obviously the first answer that will come to your mind is it is for eating right and then you might, have, you might you might get the question also what's the function of okay what's the function of a bed let's say for example and then obviously you see crashing right or sleeping so you see the question what is the function of something and then your reply is what that thing does right what you the purpose of that stuff right that's the function of that thing so in python also the concept is similar um a function is created you understand so when you when when you create you you, you normally create some um a, something and then you give it a name in the sun and you call it a function but then generally assign it a specific name that is it does that that thing you have to find so in python defining functions is generally just um creating a group of instructions that perform a specific task in the sun so let's say imagine you want to create a a, a program now so let's say you want to create an object spoon so you could like define all the things, all the things that actually allow you allow or make up a spoon inside one single function. And yeah, you could call that function a spoon, for example. So generally, to be able to understand functions, I think the best approach is for me to start getting you um, into how Python represents function, and then I think it will be easier for you to grab the concept. So first thing, first um, I'm going to Control N, create a new file here. Control N and I'm going to say address. Let's call this um function intro that that py. Alright, so in Python, the keyword for defining a function is def. Now, how obvious is that like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you want to define a function and then the keyword to define a new function is def. So the syntax is something similar to this, but before we go to the syntax, let's just check Python quickly for Python help. Sorry, let's check Python help for what a function or def really does. So let's say def. All right, so just something like function definition. A function definition defines a user defined function object. Blah, blah, blah. Right, this stuff doesn't really make any sense. A function definition is an executable statement. It executes is execution binds the function name in the current local name space to a function object blah 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 so you see what they're really trying to see is that function definition defines is a defined function object so you, you are really creating an object by putting a collection of statements together or code within that um, object so that you it can perform a specific activity so let's just get right into it so that you grab the concept more so in, in Python, let's say we want to create a new function now. And let's say, yeah, let's just call this function dev. Let's just call the function greeting. So you do something like this dev, let's just define, then you say greeting. And you do this. So now, dev here is a keyword that you must always pass when you want to create a, um, when you want to create a function. And then this greeting here, is what you choose to call your function but it could be anything it could be rice it could be food it could be school it could be anything obviously but then it's a good idea for you to name your functions based on what they do so since we call this function greeting then our expectation is that this function actually performs greeting and then it's easier for other programmers when they look at your code to tell that this function does does what it says so let's say let's say we want to collect username from a user so let's say Username plus two input. Say hello and enter. Uh, I can't type today. <laughs> enter your username. 
All right, let's take a new, let's put a new line. So now we want to collect the username, right? And then now one, once they enter their name, and now we want to grade them. So we could say print, just say it's always morning here in this world. So let's say, good morning. Oh, I can't type today. Good morning. Mm. Let's make this an F string. So let's say F. Good morning. I hope I haven't forgotten how this shit works. Uh, username. Yeah. So now we have the find a function. This is our very first function that we've created. So what does it do? You know, normally you will just write this program without what you've known so far is that you will just create something like this. You will write this statement this statement here and then this and then you will run them and they will obviously execute but in the concept of um functions when when you have defined the name of the function and then you insert your code here for you to actually run the code here you have to call the function itself so you have to call it that hey func hey um function i want you to execute and then it executes and then the way to do that is very very simple and it's just as simple as writing the name of the function and then putting these two braces, sorry, brackets. So you control S and then you run control V. And then it's asking us to enter our username. So let's see, set that here. Uh, I don't know why this isn't run. Uh, I have to console this. Uh, let me stop this program execution. I don't really know why it's running. I think Sublime doesn't accept um, user input, so I have to stop this console build. I think let's run this in the terminal. So let's exit. I think the reason why it is what we expected was for the program to print good morning here but it didn't I, I think it's not the issue of the program but rather the issue of sublime so we will run this we'll run this from from the from price from the command line i think it should work fine let's see this let's see the desktop. i'm just trying to go to my direct desktop directory let me see cd all right um Yes, we have function intro. All right, let's run this Python function function intro.py. So it's asking us for a username, so we say uh, here, and there you go. Good morning, uh, here. So, what's the different? So basically, you might think. As far as you're concerned at this moment, we've just succeeded in adding more work to ourselves by going through the stress of putting dev grating and then having to have to write grating also just to execute these two lines of code. Like, what's the point? It doesn't really make any sense, right? It does actually, trust me, it does. Um, because this code so far now is just something really little, something that doesn't necessarily require um creating a function so it really just looks like it's a waste of time but in the next video we'll go through um reasons why you actually define functions and you see how functions can really make your life easier and in fact just makes you or allow you to write very better python code so but just before we go again i would like just like to do a recap you see normally you will just write this out here like you'll just do something like this um let me create let me just run a new file control and Let's see control V. So normally this is what you will do. You will just um, um create a variable username, assign the input, and then you will run. And then this will run perfectly. But now we've introduced the concept of functions. So and then you define a function with the word with the keyword dev. And then you put in the name of the function bracket and then this colon. And then whenever you want to execute whatever is in the function, that is all the statements that you put within the function, then you just 
run you, you just write the name of the function and then execute if you don't do that the function will never execute so let's actually try that let's try removing this and run the code and see let me control s so i'll come back here and i will try to run and see if it will work and it won't so let's say five honestly i don't know why i can't type this evening python function intro to py you see nothing happens like there's nothing but if we come back here and put in written address so we come back and run this see it's access for our name now it works fine so you say um let's say Aisha. Good morning, Aisha. So you see that works. So um so far what you need to remember is this. You define a function with def, and then you always have to remember you have to always because if you do forget this, you might think that you made a mistake in your code, your code, you might find your code not running, and then you will not know why. So when I'm busy, what you need to do is always write the name of the function when you intend to call it. And by calling it, it means executing what is within the body of the function. So in the next video, we'll look at more concepts on and more reasons why you should use a function. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.